the big announcement. Lay it on us. What do you? What is it today? We want to now open source the AI features from Copilot in VS Code. Incredible. That's really exciting. So, yeah. like, explain to us how Copilot and and VS Code works right now. Is it a plugin or is it like a closed part of VS Code? So today it's an open core pattern we are using, right? VS Code is open source, of course. It has some AI enabling features in there, which are open source. But the Copilot is a closed source extension, and there is a good reason why we started like that, and why there is an evolution. No one really knew how to make a business out of this, right? Early on, it was like, oh, this is insanely expensive to run, right? So what do we do? We don't want to give anything away because no one really knows where the market goes and so on, right? So yeah. in the end, we ended up, as Eric said, in this kind of open core approach, which is that the UI elements, a whole bunch of the UI elements actually started more and more moving into core. We had to enable some of them through, for example, uh, APIs, right? So we created more APIs and so on, and then parts were in the in the Copilot extension. I think the landscape really massively shifted over the last year, maybe two years, right? Prompting overall became much simpler. Yeah. Right? So and and if you look, if you take this all together, right? What you really have to have on the servers, right? And that is pretty pretty much your your secret sauce. And what you have on the clients in a way became more and more of a, of a way of not too much specific pieces in there that really differentiate you. And from that point of view, right, we, we think it's it's really a product time, right, to put all of this in open source. And with that, you can pretty much type something in the chat, right, and follow along, right? You can debug all the way how that actually makes it then finally to the server, right? And what the server actually responds, right? And then you can see how these things actually come. You can optimize for it, right? You can find problems. Uh, you can fix issues. You can create PRs if you want, right? So I yeah. think that, that's really the story, right? What I see also, for instance, now we have a competition like Curso, and what they really show us, when you are kind of an extension of VS Code, you are a little bit bolted on. But what you want to do with this move, you want to have the same thing, right? It's an AI editor. It's not just bolted on. It's yeah. really a core part when you do code OSS, right? It's there. It's not that you have to install whatever, right? So it should just be this experience. And maybe also one thing, note the whole prompt thing that Kai mentioned, it's in the extension right now, prompt construction. That's yeah. in the extension. And this thing right now, we also think we want to make this open source. And that's a good thing. 